If you would like to escape those high temperatures this 4th of July holiday, why not hit the slopes at Mammoth Mountain after an historic winter where parts of the mountain received some 900 inches of snow. There is plenty of skiing and boarding still to be done, likely all through the month and perhaps even into August. Joni Lynch is the VP of Marketing and Sales at Mammoth Mountain. She joins me now with more literally on the mountain. I don't see snow <laughs> behind you though, Joni. Uh, how significant is this that we can expect to snow, uh, to ski and board through July and maybe into August? Yes, well, let me be honest with you. I'm not at the mountain right now. We are closed for operation for the day, and we've been out on the hill all day enjoying the snow and out hiking and things. So right now I'm live to you from my house, but I hope you have some footage of the fantastic snow that we've been enjoying. <laughs> uh, we do have a base depth of three feet to 10 feet of snow still. We have nine chairlifts open, servicing the top to bottom terrain for all ages and ability levels. Even our bunny slopes are still open. That's how much snow we still have. Uh, and this is significant, pretty significant, right? Absolutely. Just uh, shattered records for snowfall this year. You heard about it all winter. And it's really just added up to a massive snowpack for us as we get this late into the summer, allowing Mammoth Mountain to stay open daily for skiing and snowboarding through the end of July. Maybe one of our longest seasons on record. We could even go to August if the snow holds up. These last few days have been our first warm temperatures. We got up into the 60s here in the high Sierra, which means the snow melts a little bit faster, but we still have an awful lot on the ground. Well, that's great news uh, for those who love to uh, ski and board. How are the crowds? If people are planning even to maybe head up tomorrow, what can they expect? You know, we've had an overwhelming response to our spring and summer skiing this year. Record-breaking numbers. But the good news is there's a lot of room to spread out, as I mentioned. Nine chairlifts, almost 60 trails available for skiing and snowboarding, so there's plenty of room on the mountain for everybody. And, um, you know, as we get into this holiday weekend, we do have a lot of other activities. If you're done skiing in the morning, we close the mountain actually at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, there's mountain biking and golfing and hiking and fishing and just exploring the mountains up here. So there's plenty, to, plenty of fun to be had up here in the mountains uh, I think you just answered my I, I was just gonna do a follow-up with that but I'm still gonna ask you because we have some more time with you and that is you know if, if you don't want to ski if you don't want to board you can just still go and, and enjoy mammoth right Oh, gosh, it's glorious. And especially during these times of this heat wave we've all been experiencing, it has been so lovely up here in Mammoth. Like I said, temperatures in the 60s, maybe low 70s down in town. Uh, the 4th of July, we have a lot of fun activities going on. We have parades and arts and crafts fairs. There's fireworks shows and just anything your, your heart can imagine you can do here. Um, we do have a lot of snow in a lot of the traditional summer areas in Mammoth, up in the Lakes Basin and down in Red's Meadow, which are places people like to visit. So you can't access all of the areas, uh, but it's still fun to go and play in the snow. Our kids are having snowball fights in July in California. How about that? You, you know what I want to do? I want to go to Joni Lynch's house. Your backyard is something <laughs> special. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry I can't be on the mountain tonight, but uh, no. hopefully, hopefully you guys have some, some fresh footage for us or come back to us later in July. We'll do it again. Your property looks amazing. All right. For more informa <laughs> information, you can check out mammothmountain.com. They have the live cams there, too, which is always fun to check out. Joni, thank you so much. Thank you.